graduates, family, and friends, we are pleased to welcome you to Wright State University's 91st Commencement Ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and especially honored graduates. I am happy to welcome you to Wright State University's 91st Commencement Ceremony. This 91st ceremony also has a distinction of being our first wholly remote ceremony. I am Laura Lerman, Professor of Political Science and President of the Faculty. It is the highest privilege of the faculty to celebrate with you the achievements of our graduates and for many, the commencement of their professional careers. Normally, at this time in the program, I would ask the college marshals to lead our graduates to their seats, but this graduation is different. Looking back on the events of these past seven months, one thing is clear. The class of 2020 has already shown its grit. Each and every one of you has already demonstrated your perseverance, adaptability, and determination. You have already shown to yourselves and others that you can acclimate and pivot quickly to solve the problems of today. As your faculty members, it has been truly an honor to work with you, especially through the challenging weeks and months last spring when everything changed so quickly. Please trust me when I say that we all wish things today were different. For most of us, our favorite days of each academic year are the mornings we gather in the Nutter Center to celebrate what we are all about, to celebrate the success of our students. Even though this morning we are not packed into the Nutter Center, our celebration is genuine and our respect for you as graduates during the challenges of the COVID era is sincere and heartfelt. While much has indeed changed, one thing has not. Even though you have finished your degree programs, our work together as members of the Wright State community is just beginning. We'll be here for you to celebrate future successes and to assist through professional challenges. We remain here for you. I would now ask Dr. Douglas Lehman, our interim provost, to the podium to share some interesting facts about our spring 2020 grads. Dr. Lehman. Thank you, Dr. Lerman. I would like to add my welcome to the graduates as well as their family and friends. We want you to know that we are quite proud of each and every graduate of the Wright State University class of 2020. Please allow me to share a few facts about our graduates encompassing our 11 colleges and schools. 
We have 46 graduates that received their associate's degree. We have more than 1,400 bachelor degree graduates, 515 master's graduates, and 10 graduates that have received their doctoral degrees. There are 113 international graduates representing 26 countries who chose Wright State for their education. Our youngest associate graduate is 18 years old, and our youngest bachelor graduate is also just 18 years old. And one graduate is receiving their master's at 21 years of age. But let's not forget those who teach us that learning is a lifelong pursuit. The oldest associate's graduate is 37. One bachelor graduate is a young 62. And the oldest master's candidate is a mere 72. We are extremely proud of the 242 students that maintain the highest GPA a 4.0 throughout their academic career at Wright State. Overall, we are very excited that over 1,900 students have been conferred a degree for spring 2020. Wright State strives to provide our students with unique opportunities to enhance their learning experience beyond the classroom. Maybe you participated in a service learning project or volunteered or pursued an in internship or co-op. Maybe you worked part-time or full-time or served as a member of student government or in athletics or in a fraternity or sorority or a professional club or maybe you worked on campus. These experiences show that a degree from Wright State University means more than classroom examinations, more than books, more than lectures. We are proud of the hard work and dedication these graduates put forth to reach this auspicious accomplishment. The achievements we are celebrating often require more than a commitment by just the student. They also reflect a commitment by their family and friends. And so on behalf of Wright State University, we thank you also for your support of our graduates. It is now my honor to introduce the president of Wright State University, Dr. Susan Edwards. Since taking the reins, President Edwards has shown the tenacity and leadership that is exactly what Wright State University needs at this time. Since her first day, she has had to make some tough decisions. She has shown dedication and perseverance in facing the challenges during this pandemic. Her leadership is something from which we all can learn. On behalf of the Wright State University community, thank you for your guidance and know that we will all stand with you as we take our beloved university to greater heights. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the eighth president of Wright State University, Dr. Susan Edwards. Thank you, Dr. Lehman. Congratulations, Raiders and Lakers. Today, we celebrate the class of 2020. I am so very sorry we cannot be together in person, that I can't shake your hand and I can't see you in your cap and gown, grinning from ear to ear. But know that I couldn't be more proud of each and every one of you. The world is a much different place than when you started your educational journey at Wright State University. The COVID pandemic has disrupted all our lives and the lives of many people around the globe. The adaptability and resilience that you have all displayed during the final spring semester will in fact serve you well in your future endeavours. To earn a college degree is a monumental achievement in its own right, but to complete it during a global pandemic is nothing short of heroic. You are inspirational. Of course, I also want to say thank you and congratulations to all of the parents, family members, friends and support crew who have encouraged you and supported you every step of the way to this fabulous achievement. Today, I want to share with you four qualities that I believe will be of immeasurable value to you in your future. 
compassion, empathy, tolerance, and of course, one that I've already mentioned, adaptability. Compassion is the concern for the misfortune and suffering of others, will motivate you to take action and make a difference, just as it has for your fellow graduate, Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline, who is from Youngstown, earned her bachelor's degree in computer science, a certificate in cybersecurity analytics, and she interned with the US Air Force and the FBI. She was the president of Wright State's Society of Women Engineers and president of Engineers Without Borders, a community service group that helped build a rain collection system to irrigate a community garden in Trotwood and help create a wetlands observation deck in Fairborn. The group also travelled to African nation of Uganda twice on a sanitation project for a school there. She has also fostered and co-handled with Four Paws for Ability, which trains service dogs for people with disabilities. Jacqueline is now working as a software engineer at Altamara Technologies Corporation, a software designing defense contractor headquartered outside Washington, DC. Empathy. Empathy is the ability to feel and understand what someone else is experiencing, to care about others and to try and help them. One of your fellow graduates, Blake Hale, cared deeply about his teammates and was focused on helping them achieve academic success. He was always the first one to encourage his teammates, especially when things were perhaps not going so well. Blake received a bachelor's degree in accountancy and marketing and was a leader on the Wright State golf team which this year won its first Horizon League championship in 15 years and played in the NCAA tournament. Blake grew up in Columbus, then moved to Southern California to finish high school. He turned down opportunities from the Air Force Academy, Fordham University and several other schools to come to Wright State on a golf scholarship. He is now attending law school at the University of Notre Dame and is interested in working as an in-house counsel for a Fortune 500 company. The third quality I want to mention is tolerance. We simply must accept that not everyone thinks and acts as we do. We are all individuals. We must make an effort to understand others' beliefs and actions. Another one of our graduates, Saida Baha, who is from Bangladesh, earned her master's degree in public administration. She attended the 2019 Asia-Pacific Leadership Summit in Adelaide, Australia, representing Wright State, the United States, and Bangladesh on the international stage. She participated in sessions on diversity and inclusion, as well as cultural sensitivity. Saida has worked as an intern at Premier Health's Help Me Grow Brighter Futures, a non-profit that pr provides home visiting services to educate, support, and advocate for healthy births, child development, strong family units, economic self-sufficiency, and school readiness. In fact, she works there now. She has also worked on a research project to improve public health policy and ensure equal health outcome for the community. Her project goal was to identify and develop strategies on how to address health disparities including preterm birth and infant mortality among African Americans. Saida also landed an internship with East End Community Service, where she helped conduct research and data analysis for substance abuse and adverse childhood experiences. I know Saida's strengths. She was the Chief Operating Officer of the President's Ambassadors Program at Wright State and Fundraising Director of the University Chapter of the Golden Key International Honours Society. Her long-term goal is to work for the government of her native Bangladesh to improve the country's government system, public policies and health policies. The last quality I want to share with you all is adaptability, and I know you know what that is. During the COVID pandemic, we have all had to adjust to new conditions. I'm so proud of your strength and perseverance. You have overcome the move to remote teaching and now a remote graduation celebration to protect the health and safety of our Wright State family. I sincerely thank you 
as well as our faculty and staff, for the adaptability you have all demonstrated in these trying times. On a final note, I want to welcome you to the Wright State Alumni. You join a family of more than 110,000 strong who are making a difference throughout Raider country, all over Ohio, across the nation and around the globe. I can't wait to see all that you will accomplish in your lives and how you'll make your mark on the world. So congratulations, class of 2020. You are truly awesome. I charge you to go forth into the world and be brilliant. Now, graduates, you are particularly lucky to have an outstanding student serve as your president of student government. The student government president demonstrates a selfless commitment of time. They serve as an ex officio representative on most campus committees, representing the voice of the student body to the board of trustees and the university. And by the way, maintains a full course load leading to graduation. This year's president is just such a student and it has been an honor for us to work with him and his vice president, Adrian Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ivan Mallet, president of your student government. Thank you, Dr. Edwards. As mentioned, my name is Ivan Mallet, and I am the president of the student body here at Wright State University. It is an absolute pleasure to be here today to celebrate the accomplishments of my fellow students who have worked extremely hard to earn their degrees. I first want to recognize members of our community who have been asked to step up in unprecedented ways during this pandemic. To the many essential workers who have been on the front lines, I want to extend my most heartfelt gratitude to you for everything that you have done over these past seven months. On December 17th, 1903, the Wright brothers went down in history as achieving the first powered flight. In 12 seconds, the Wright B flyer flew 120 feet and changed the course of human history. The Wright brothers did not just show up at Kitty Hawk and decide that they were going to immortalize themselves that day. No, the Wright brothers took years of research and practice and mistakes to get to where they ended up. Likewise, you did not earn your degree overnight. The years of effort that you put in did not go unnoticed. It wasn't always easy. Many late nights were spent studying, writing papers and lab reports, but regardless of the challenges you faced, you overcame them. The Wright brothers faced another challenge after they achieved their first flight. A few years later, they were engaged in a legal battle over the validity of their patent, the illegitimacy of their accomplishment. They did not have to fight this battle alone. Their sister, Catherine Wright, was on the front lines of the patent war. They owe an unpayable debt to their sister for always being there, behind the scenes, supporting her brothers in any way that she could. I say this because you also have your supporters, your family and your friends, your professors and your classmates. I urge you to take time and recognize them for everything that they do for you and to truly appreciate them. The achievement of the Wright brothers sparked a technological revolution like we have never seen before. 66 years after the first flight, we stepped foot on the moon. We used this technology to connect the world. The technological revolution started with our namesakes and it will continue with our graduates. As each of you go out into the world, I challenge you to remember the history of this university the proud tradition of innovation and progress that is derived from our namesakes, and to promote that tradition wherever you go. Finally, I challenge each of you to take every obstacle you encounter in stride, because nothing worth doing is ever easy. I am reminded of a great American president when I think of the challenges we will face in our lives, and I want to leave you with a quote from him. In 1910, Theodore Roosevelt, while in Paris, gave this piece of advice to soldiers, noblemen, scholars, and students. It's not the critic who counts not the one who points out where the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by blood and sweat and dust, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spins themselves in a worthy cause, who at the best, knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if they fail, at least they fail while daring greatly, so that their place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who knew neither victory nor defeat. Congratulations to the graduates of 2020, and thank you. Members of the Board of Trustees, 
President Edwards, it is my pleasure as president of the Student Government Association to present to you this year's candidates for graduation, the members of the Wright State University Dayton campus spring class of 2020. I would also like to present the Wright State University Lake Campus fall class of 2019 and spring class of 2020. Madam President, I have the honor of presenting these candidates who have completed all requirements for their earned degree and are worthy of this distinction. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Wright State University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer the appropriate degree upon our graduates with all the rights, privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Although symbolic, due to our virtual ceremony, this is a very important time for our undergraduates. I have asked Ivan to assist me with the tradition of moving your tassels. As is academic tradition, a student who has not yet earned a degree wears a tassel of their mortarboard on the right side. However, once the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left side, as Ivan is demonstrating, signifying the successful completion of their undergraduate degree. Therefore, in recognition of your new status, I invite all recipients of a bachelor degree to move your tassels from the right to the left as we applaud your outstanding efforts. At the conclusion of commencement, please follow your college link. Your dean has a special message for you and our graduates' names will be called. As our ceremony comes to a close, Please remember, you are forever a Raider and forever in our hearts. Before closing our ceremony, I would like to thank those who have shared their talents and time with us to make this ceremony special for our newest graduates. Remember, no one is in this alone. Thank those that have helped you along your journey. Your success shines on them too. Now don't forget to press your college tab at the end of this ceremony to receive your message from your Dean. Okay, let's close with the Wright State University alma mater. Ms. Bridget Lorenz, a senior music theatre major, will share her amazing voice talents with us today. Mm -hmm.